This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Motion Bear. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from BlueMotions.com, and in this After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to create this liquidy gradient animation or liquid gradient background inside of After Effects that too without using any plugins. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's keep it at 1920 by 1080. That is full HD, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's call this comp as render as our main render comp. Hit OK. Let's hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid, which is going to be our background. So I'm going to call this BG. Hit OK. And now we can create a nice gradient background. So to do that, we will be using a four color gradient. I can go into effects and preset and let's type in um, four and that should bring up the four color gradient. Let's double click to apply this. Now you can of course use any color that you want. I have selected a few specific color codes that I want to use for this tutorial. So I'm going to just copy this and paste it. Then I'll copy this one. Let's paste it on this one. Same for this one. And finally, a nice blue. All right. Now we can animate them so we can easily drag these handles and, you know, drag it wherever that we want to. So I, I'm going to place it some somewhere like this, you know, and let's create keyframe on the point one, point two, point three and point four. Go all the way up to 10 seconds. I'm going to drag this one right here, maybe. Drag this one into the center and you can basically do this very randomly. I'm just going to move them just in order to create a random movement, you know, into the colors. So that is looking pretty good. And that's all we need to do on this particular layer. Now let's right click, create a new adjustment layer and and all the design and animation are going to be created on this new adjustment layer. So I'm going to call this, um, let's call this something like, um, I don't know movements. All right, so I'm gonna select this layer, and I will I will be using a very cool effect called CC smear. So I can double click to apply that up, and let's drag this point maybe right over here, and this one right over here. All right, let's uh, increase the radius all the way up to one thousand. And we get quite a weird look, but it's fine. We will fix it as we move forward with this. So let's create a keyframe on the from and to of this CC smear. Go all the way up to 10 seconds. And maybe I'll move this one something like there and this one something like this. So basically, we have a very simple movement. All right, let's duplicate this. So I'm going to hit Control D. So now we have smear 2. And I'm going to drag this one right here and this one actually right over here. All right. I'm going to hit use so we can see the keyframe. So smear two, I can remove the default keyframes and create a new ones. Go all the way up to 10 seconds. And um, let's move this one down, maybe somewhere around there. And also I'll drag this one a bit closer. Something like this. All right. So we have a pretty weird movement, right? So now in order to fix the frame, I will use motion tile. So I'll go into effects and preset type in motion tile. Let's double click to apply this and make sure that this effect is on the top of the effects rack, just like so let's let's increase the output width to around 200 and increase the output height by around 500 and then make sure you turn on or check this icon that says mirror edges. And boom, there we have a really nice look. So it's looking pretty cool. And then I will add an effect called turbulence displace. So let's add turbulence displacement. Again, we need to make sure that this effect is on the top of the CC smear effect. All right, then change the displacement from turbulent 
to vertical displacement and let's increase the amount to around 300 and increase the size to around 150 as you can see right off the bat it started to look really really nice and liquidy and one more thing that i can do is actually increase the complexity all the way up to 10 and this will help us to achieve this really nice lines but if you don't want that you can even keep the complexity down to around three and you know get a very liquidy kind of a gradient which looks cool in itself but i like to go with 10 i, I personally like this look all right so this is looking pretty great i think now one more thing that you can do is play around with the evolution that will help us to achieve a you know pretty nice uh, movement into the gradient so i can add a very simple expression here i can hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the evolution let's add a simple expression called time times maybe something like 50 so that it adds a continuous movement into those gradients it's looking pretty nice now before you proceed further with this tutorial i want to thank today's sponsor motion bear Motion Bear is an elite video hype author with over 12,000 plus sales and they have created this amazing transitions and titles pack for After Effects called Pluto. You can easily edit the speed of any transition. It also works with any FPS. This pack contains over 1,000 drag and drop transitions and more than 760 titles and other animated elements with all the sound effects included. This pack can support any screen resolution up to 4K and it's super easy to use. For more information, check out the link in the description below. And finally, I will add a really nice glow on this. So I can go into effects and presets type in glow double click let's increase the threshold to around 90 percent and let's increase the glow radius just like so all right and then bring down the intensity to around 0.3 or 0.4 should be fine so you can see before and after it's quite optional you know so but i think it looks pretty good and gives that nice dreamy look to the complete design and if you want then now you can use it in a number of different ways you can also add some noise or you can just simply type in a text that you want so i can type in something like gradients and just use it as a nice gradient background and i i personally think it looks super cool i can bring down the size maybe so you know you can add a really nice title revealing animation and it looks super duper cool so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create some fluid gradients inside of after effects that too without using any plugins if you enjoyed this make sure to hit that like button and do let me know in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative by the way you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions i have mentioned all the links in the description below